So this is essentially the story of how two women can completely platonically fall in love with one another. It is. It is. And it's almost surprising. It's such a clever way to go at it. It's almost surprising that it hasn't been done this way before, in a way, yeah. when I think about it. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about creatively your inspiration? And then, as an artist, why did you kind of want to take the bull by the horns and do your own work? Well, um, Katie and Aylan and I co-wrote the script together, and we, you know, we sat down and, and just set out to write what we know, which is female friendship, and we just thought, you know, that's a movie that we would want to see, and, you know, and we, Katie and I, in real life, have a really interesting dynamic, and in that, you know, I follow the rules and she breaks them, and we just wanted to explore that, and, you know, and then the phone sex came along, that Katie As ran a, does. she ran a phone sex line her freshman year of college, so we drew on her real life experience, and, you know, it was just a, it seemed like a, a, a ripe place to tell the story about girls finding their voices, which was something we wanted to see, and do it in a really fun, outrageous way, which was phone sex. And, um, you know, the decision to make it on our own was, was, uh, was, uh, you know, on one hand very easy, and one hand very hard. It was, you know, it came from a place of just realizing that, like, you know, what, what we were doing wasn't working, and no one was waiting for us to walk into a room where they were gonna, you know, hand us $20 million to make this movie, and, and it came from a place of just, you know what, we have a story, we can tell it, let's just do this on our own and make it happen for ourselves, because I'm a big believer in taking destiny into your own hands, and, and that's, that's what we did. <laughs> One of the things I like about it a lot is the tone, because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's heightened circumstances. Yeah. And it gets a little broad here and there, especially mm -hmm. with the ancillary characters, who mm -hmm. are amazing, by the way. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. They were well written, Yeah, too. thank you. Um, but it still maintains kind of this naturalistic tone, which I really yeah. enjoy. How did you strike that balance? Well, I think what's really interesting in, in comedy these days is that, that comedy has moved to a more real place, but I think it's real within each movie's world that they create. And I use 40 Year Old Virgin as an example because it, that movie's not realistic really, but, no. but in its world, in itself, it is so real and it is so, you know, it so honors the story that it is trying to tell and the world that it creates. And we tried to do the same thing. I mean, Jamie Travis, our director, is so talented visually and he's just so smart. And he was the one that, that created that world. And, and I think it's because it, because it is a little candy colored and it is very sweet that you can get away with doing some of that like body raunchiness that we have in there um, because it, it is in this very, you know, pink way. <laughs> At this time, now that it's done and you see it and it's been through Sundance, how would you recommend, I mean, you are the writer producer, star, can yeah. you step back at this point and look at it and go, this is my love letter, how would I recommend it to audiences? Oh, God, I, I can, you know, I, I just, you know, we've been lucky and the people that have seen the movie, they seem to receive it really well, and I, my my hopes for, for audiences who have not yet seen the movie is to to know that it's a, we like to say it's a discovery movie and that people tend to really go in thinking one thing and they come out realizing they've gotten something else and, and you know, it, it is sexy and it is raunchy, but it is really sweet, like I said, and, and I hope that, that people recognize that, and I hope that as a filmmaker I can continue to do that. And it's, you know, that was our goal, and I, I hope that we achieved it. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to having it at AMC screens. Thank you.